suicide rate on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation is staggering, and there are few answers. But Oglala Lakota tribal leaders met with Senator John Thune and Representative Kristen Noem to find some of those answers today. Huntington reports from Pine Ridge. At the tribe's public safety building, the GOP lawmakers were briefed on the latest disturbing suicide data and heard emotional tales from Pine Ridge high schoolers. Bringing in the students and having them tell their own personal stories about losing friends uh, that had committed suicide and how that impacts them gives us the incentive to get out there and do as much as we possibly can do as soon as possible. They also heard about tribal plans for three 26-bed suicide crisis centers that the IHS Suicide Task Force wants to build. We're just waiting for the funding to come down because, as you know, we have a high rate of suicide, and so we really need to address this. So it's my hope today that the senators will take this back to D.C. and really help us on this much-needed project. Senator Thune said he thought the Bureau of Indian Affairs could do more. I know they've got a big, a lot of reservations around the country that they have to cover, but I bet it'd be, I'd be hard-pressed to think that there isn't a situation that is in more uh, desperate need of help than we are here in South Dakota, and especially right now in Pine Ridge. On the Pine Ridge Reservation, this is Stuart Huntington, Coded.